Well, I grew up with a single drug addict mother. I watched her get beat. I heard her get beat. I watched my mom use drugs for years. I ended up kind of taking that same path. Um, did it for the majority of my life. I felt like I was a dog chasing my tail. Um, I, was, I always say I was existing and not living. Existing on this earth and having such tunnel vision for one thing and being so ashamed of it on top of it and not knowing who to talk to. Spending every penny I have on drugs, so I'm going through eviction, through eviction, through homelessness. It's a full-time job on its own. It's a nightmare that you can't wake up from. I finally, at some point, I had that inspiration in me. I always kept hope that things would get better. I'd see people having dinner together. I'd see that normal nine to five life. I'd see things I wanted. And I saw how hurt my family was. At that point, I had a child. She was barely a year old. I knew I couldn't do it no more. I knew I couldn't make her live the life I lived. So I reached out for help. Nobody wants to be dope sick. Nobody wants to put a knee on their arm. Nobody wants to give every penny they have to make sure they feel better. Nobody wants to keep masking the issues. So when you feel alone, you tend to stay alone. You tend to hide. You To meet somebody that understands you and doesn't judge you, that doesn't condemn you, that doesn't give you that cookie cutter answer of just stop. I'd be lying to you if I said it's gonna be simple. But your life's worth fighting for because if you don't fight for it, nobody will. I can't do the work for you. No agency can do the work for you. You have to do it for yourself. But if you put in the work that you put in every day to use, if you put that work in to be clean as possible, I can't promise how long it'll take. But I can promise you, keep trying, your end goal will be accomplished.